Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. I'm Jason. Today we are opening up something that is really humongous in my opinion and very heavy, 8.9 kilos. Okay, so this is the latest unified dream wall. Okay, so it has its own benefits and everything which I will go through with you today. So it's going to be a slightly longer video. So it's an all-in-one per se. And also I will have a subsequent follow-up video on how to change out the storage. So what I have is a 1TB uh, scan this extreme pro which is very very good for recording videos because if you have cameras attached together as usual this has unified protect support and it's able to support cameras you will want to be able to store long-term storage and big storage so i'll show you guys how to change out the sd card i'm sure from my channel you have actually seen some reels on the unified dream wall and i haven't been doing the unboxing so today we're going to be unboxing the big enormous unified dream wall all right so it's 8.6 kilograms all right and it has built-in wi-fi too all right so let's open it up and let's see uh, it's very big and heavy let me try and move it we're gonna have to flip it over okay to unseal it, as usual, there is the seal where you have to peel it up and you open it, put it aside. Let me set that aside for you. Now, you have to lift it up, push down the latch, okay, and lift up the whole unit itself. Okay, so let me try and lift up the unit itself, sitting down, okay. So this is the unified dream wall, all right, it's really huge. Let me remove it out from the box and set it aside. Now, inside... Okay, what do we have is as usual, the guides and of course the level, right? Because to mount it, there is a attached and provided metal plate, all right? You've got to, you got to mount this onto the structural wall, all right? Because it's 8.9 kilos, as I mentioned earlier, okay? I'll show you the back later. Let's see what else is included in here. I'm sure there's something, ah, yes, over here. All right, so you have your power cords. Okay, let me find where they hide the rest of the stuff. Okay, I'm sure there's some more stuff hidden somewhere because they have, don't have a lot of screws. Uh, yes, here. So these are the attached screws that comes with it. Okay, before I go into the technical portion of it. Okay, let me put the box aside. So we can talk about screws, power cord, mounting plate, okay, measurement, okay, and the unit itself, all right. So you'll be curious, how do you actually open it, all right? There are latches below here, push, okay, you lift it up, okay, all right. So by itself, it comes with one PSU, you can buy and add on PSU, so you have two PSUs. It has Wi-Fi 6 built in, 4x4, only Wi-Fi 6. The RAM, it has um, bought 4 GB, and on top of that, it has 128 GB SSD built in. Uh, it also supports Bluetooth connectivity, so you can actually connect by the app from Bluetooth and connect to it. Now, for the LAN ports, all right, it has a total of 20 ports on the unit itself and you will have four ports that support PoE+, plus, four ports that support PoE++, plus plus, four ports that supports PoE, okay? So it's extended across from port one to port 12, all right? And for long, from 13 to 17, they are non-PoEs, all gigabits, all right? And for the WAN ports, it supports dual WAN, okay? For the dual WAN, it's uh, RJ45, okay? and then followed by SFP+. Plus. If you want to convert it from SFP+, Plus to RJ45, you need to purchase the module, okay? It's the MG, the new module. Now, to change out the default memory card, it's over here. I'll create a new video to show you how to do it. This is the screen itself. Once you plug in the power, it'll boot up. You have a similar screen to what you see on the Alien, but it's of course much better. It's a newer version. This is where all the trunking will go in and it goes in here. The reset button is on top of the WANG ports, all right? So like I mentioned earlier, it's a really big machine. Now in terms of routing, okay? In terms of routing capacity, it only can go up to 3.5 Gbps, okay? Only 3.5 Gbps, be very careful um, on that. Manage your expectations, 
on it okay once you have done everything all you have to do is just clip on to it from the top push it down flip it back and that's it it's a very very beautiful machine but similarly it's very very heavy okay let's take a look at the back of it you'll see that it has the mount okay so this is where the mount is okay so this is where you hang on to the metal bracket this is removable in case you need to access it from the back to mount your wang port and your LAN port for uplink connectivity okay other than that uh, nothing else on the back uh, do take note do not cover the vents at the back so all these are the vents these are all the ventilation vents this is where all the hot air is going to come out so basically this covers the unboxing of the dream wall as you can see i'm struggling with 8.9 kilos okay. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment on the video. I'll get back to you and answer you as much as I can. And then please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.